Konnichiwa, Hajime Mashita, Kone Oji Des, and welcome back to World of Tanks Blitz. And today we are taking a look at the AT-15. And quite frankly, I absolutely love this thing ever since I had it fully upgraded because I really couldn't deny that the basic strengths of the AT-15 is the rate of fire that it has on the top gun and as well as the strong frontal armor. And pretty much you could also do some nice 45 degree angling right here to further increase your survivability. So pretty much we're going to take a look at the AT-15 further with, it, with its armor profile, compare it with the other tier 8 tanks and go take a look at some epic gameplays to see just how the AT-15 works well. And pretty much the AT-15 has a lot of selections right here. You have the 32 pounder if you want a lot of alpha or if you want to shoot faster you can choose the type B barrel and I fully recommend that you guys would mount the 20 pounder AT that type B barrel because the rate of fire on that thing is absolutely amazing as I will show with you in a little bit. So first let's go take a look at the armor profile of the AT-15. So here's the armor profile of the AT-15 and as you can see the thickness of the armor reaches up to 220 at, at most because this side is basically just flat armor but if you'll notice the mantlet is strong as hell. It's got spaced armor and pretty much it's gonna be quite hard to go through it unless you're like just shooting gold or what and whatnot or if your penetration could really outmatch through it but pretty much there's nothing really special about the AT-15's frontal armor except that it can reliably bounce a few shots but you still have that weird weak spot right over there the tumor and that basically that's one thing that you need to try to avoid getting shot at now the full angular armor right here we can see that the effectiveness of the armor is getting increased with the sides reaching from 390 to 400 and right over here 269 and then right here 250 plus and pretty much if you keep on just doing this thing just doing this tactic, just go onto a diamond formation right here and then just drive back and forth so you can be able to effectively utilize the AT-15 strengths and of course you've got a weak rear armor but it should be enough to bounce most HE shots but unfortunately if someone is going to shoot you with hash rounds that's not going to be rather pleasing and pretty much this armor right here is basically just made of plastic. So pretty much that sums up the AT-15's armor, nothing really much that special. It doesn't change the fact that it's a British tank destroyer with a he very heavy armor, it's slow, and pretty much you're gonna get utilized a lot, that the weak spots that I mean are going to get uti utilized a lot. But still, if you're gonna try to keep doing this tactic right here, just aim your gun like this, then just do go to a diamond formation, you, sh you should be able to bounce shots a lot more reliably. And we are comparing the AT-15 with its other tier 8 counterparts. Now, where the AT-15 excels in is in the DPM, the rate of fire, and the reload with only just 3.43 seconds. Now that's the fastest reload time of any other tier 8 tank destroyer. But however, the alpha is what drags it down as well as the penetration, but it should have the penetration to go through most tanks frontally, including the KV-4 or the IS-3. Shell velocity, it also, just rounds of it, just go a little bit faster than its other counterparts with the exception of the MLE-48. Weapon handling wise, we can see that this is where the AT-15 shines, with the aim time and dispersion a lot better than its counterparts, and pretty much accuracy on the move except with the Ferdinand. Gun depression is also the best. However, the gun elevation is what drags it down at only 10 degrees compared to its counterparts of 20, 14, 18, 18. The aiming arc where the guns could look at the left or right is at 25 degrees and also it's a lot better than its counterparts. Now what sums up for the AT-15 is that it's got a lot more flexible weapon handling and pretty much you can shoot tanks a lot flexible than the other tanks of the, of the same tier. Mobility wise we can see that the AT-15 is hands down the slowest and tied with the T-28 but with the T-28 having a lot better power to weight ratio and as well as an effective terrain resistance and horsepower per ton. Now what this means is that the AT-15 will take a lot of time or a little bit of a time 
for it to get to its top speed of just 20. Now this is where the AT-15 is rather weak and you really have to play the AT-15 carefully and pretty much you won't really have the Alpha. You may not have the Alpha of the T-28 but you do certainly have the reload time and the penetration to go through most tanks. Other stuff, maybe the armor, has the AT-15 has the strongest armor of any of its counterparts except for the T-28 frontally at 254 but it's outmatched by its size at just 51 compared to the one to the AT-15's 152. Now pretty much this is where the AT-15 really shines at. The armor is absolutely amazing and it's got the armor to even bounce a few HE rounds or even Hesh rounds on its sides and rear. It also has the highest hit point pool at 1540 considering the equipment mounted and the same goes for the rest of the tanks of its own of its same tier. So now that we've compared the AT-15 with its counterparts and as well as taking a look at the armor profile, what are the tactics? Now first off when you're trying to aim your gun at a 45 degree angle, like just aim right there, just always try to move back and backwards and forwards just so they could avoid shooting this weak spot right here or even here and it will rather make it them hard for it to go through and as well as as much as possible try to get into a little bit of a distance because it's gonna be re really really hard to shoot the weak spots if it's quite far at 200 meters away or 250 meters and as well as try not to really get yourself shot on the sides and the rear now the best way for you to get to defeat a circle of death is to pin yourself up onto a wall or use a tank corpse so you can reverse back in time to shoot the one circling you to death. Now let's go take a look at the AT-15. I have one gameplay for the 32 pounder and the Type B barrel. So here we are, we are playing an Alpenstadt and I am platooned up with my good friend Bronyman50 and if you guys do remember he was recently featured in a subplay and his E25, shout out to you for helping me carry some games and protecting my rump, which is rather, rather quite big right here. So I positioned myself onto the town and noticed the five second reload on the 32 pounder. And pretty much the AT-15 excels in town to town engagements. And as you can see, the enemy is already going onto the other side, at least on Rony Man's side. There's a Type 61 supporting him. But Brody Man is doing a good idea of just letting the Type 61 flank, or rather spot for him. So now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to put myself into a position where I can support them in a way that I can keep my distance and keep safe and snipe. Now I position myself right into this bush right here. I see a nice 5. Can we put a shot to him? Yes we can. And now we see an IS-6. Fire on him. We hit. Amazing. Notice how slow the reload time is, and really, really, it's quite hard to really get yourself into the middle of a battle when you're reloading in this, and you're on the slowest tank, so it's better for you to get a faster firing gun. We see an AT-15, can we put a shot into him? Unfortunately, we can't. The, draw, the, backs, the drawbacks of the AT-15's 32 pounder is that it doesn't have that much good penetration, and but it still has a decent rate of fire somehow. And now I'm using, I'm exposing this AT-15s, I'm using the AT-15s. I'm shooting the AT-15 onto his weak spot over there. Put a shot to him, I'm sure that it probably went through. And now Brony Man's gonna need some help. I turn around right here. He's been screaming help here. <laughs> Alright, so we gotta help our platoon mate out. And now we see this RU, we put a shot to him. And now the T-54. A T-54 puts us a puts a shot into us. Sorry about that. And Brody Man takes out the RU, put a shot into that IS-5, and the T-54 puts another shot onto us. He's probably shooting us on that lower plate of ours, and he's probably shooting gold, I guess, but I really couldn't tell unless he's using, unless I hear a spark or rather a sizzle, which means that he's using heat. And now, what could we possibly do right here? I really didn't want to go out in this open because I really couldn't get myself shot on the side and turn around before it's too late. And now, this T-54 wants more. We put a shot to him and we bounce a shot, which is rather good. 
And now we see this IS-6, or IS-5 I meant. Put a shot to him, whisper him, shit, hello. And now we have to help Brony Man from this evil T-34 too. And we finish up that T-54, saving Brony Man again. And now we finish, we try to finish up that T-34 too. We finish him off, we put another shot. Yes, we can. And pretty much, we are Brony Man 50's guardian angel. And now we're gonna help him take out this I-6. Put another shot to him. Can we? Yes, we can. And come on, Brony Man. You gotta finish him off. Nice job. And now we see a T-34-3 right here. Oh god, he's got shots on my sides. We got. I gotta turn it out. Yes, we bounce off. And now he's going into deep shit right there. Come on, please don't kill Brony Man, please. We gotta save Brony Man. We are Brony Man 50's guardian angels. Come on, we put a shot to him. Unfortunately, the shot hits the dirt. G34-3 is retreating into a place where we can shoot him. And we finish him off. So that was quite an absolutely amazing of a round there. We positioned ourselves quite well into the town. Put some nice shots. And we also helped Brony Man 50 in his sticky situation right there. And somehow... The, the 32 pounder right there was useful with its, with its decent alpha. It doesn't have 105 millimeter alpha, but it's still decent enough to pull off some nice moves. So let's go take a look at the after game stats. So here we are. We picked up 3,946 damage. We destroyed four tanks. We picked up a top gun and a high caliber. And we also picked up a crucial contribution since me and Bruni Man literally killed almost half, almost the whole enemy team, I guess. Now let's go take a look at the AT-15 in some more gameplay, and this time mounting the Type B barrel. So here we are, and we are playing in Metalburg, and Brony Man 50 is now in his Cairnarvan, and it is also my favorite tier 8 heavy. A lot, I love it a lot than the IS-3 or the IS-5, simply because it just, just has that damn good penetration. Now, this is I'm going to showcase just how good the AT-15 is in a tank on tank situation setting taking place in a city so here we are now pretty much a little backstory because the AT-15 was designed to be a breakthrough tank during the war and it didn't get to really get materialized but the factors that actually came out from it was the base of the tortoise so basically the AT-15 is a breakthrough tank that's what it's supposed to be it's got a decent speed it's got a decent gun it's got a nice gun right the rate of fire is glorious it's as quite as glorious as the British Empire was. And here we are. We're just pressing W and shooting. Breakthrough tank. Away! <laughs> so here we are. We see this SU. Put shot to him. Yes, we can. We put another shot to him. Check out the rate of fire. We set him on fire. And unfortunately, Brony Man steals the kill. <laughs> Let's go put another shot to him. Check out the rate of fire. It just reloads at 3 seconds. Now, this is what I love about the British, the British tanks, actually. They have the best rate of fire, they reload fast, they also have the best accuracy in the game. And quite frankly, it's I'd rather be comfortable taking the tanks like these with a lot of rate of fire and quite a low alpha in some certain games. A lot more than high alpha, but its reload is rather atrocious. Because I know I can pull out more damage. Even though that I don't have the alpha. So here we are. We just have to finish off this IS-6. Come on, we finish him off. Our friend bounces. But can we finish him off? We bounce again on this IS-6. Come on, breakthrough tank, work, come on. Come on, breakthrough tank, you gotta work, you gotta work. Yes. And now we've got to turn back and help Brony Man. And Brony Man just gets finished off by the Tiger 2. Come on, I got us. I need some speed. Gas, gas, gas! Okay, too much of an initial knee joke right there. So, anyway, we've got to go right onto the center right here. And somehow, we see this Tiger 2. We've got to finish him off. Tiger 2. Yes, we gotta finish him off. Come on, come on, come on. We gotta push. Come on, breakthrough tank, work. Breakthrough tank, away! Oh, hey! Come on, gas up! Oh, T-34-2, we gotta finish him off! I think... Sorry about that, it seems like I'm getting my tongues twisted out again. <laughs> Alright, we gotta finish off this Tiger too. 
Yes, we can. We finish him off. Now it's time for that T32 to get done. And now our our last teammate is killed, and I am alone against the T34 too. Now this is just one of the very situations that I don't like being in my AT15. Now what could this T32 possibly do? Maybe he knows that I'm going around his side. Maybe I can go around and go to where he is least expects me to do. Or maybe I can just do go to, go do to the other side. Let's go take a look. And maybe maybe it will pull off. So I gotta play safely here because that T34 2 can just outspot me and farm me. That's what he could do right there. Or he could just keep moving and now we get spotted. We get spotted. Yes, we did. We did. We also spot that T32 at the same time he spots us. Now the C34-2 is just gonna run away. Run, Forrest, run. I'm, I'm too slow. Maybe we could try to just draw this out. Maybe not. Or I could just turn around because he thinks that he's. I'm gonna push on around to him. Let's see. Surprise, motherfucker! <laughs> and we finish him off from that. That was absolutely amazing. We dished off a lot of damage there as I could what I could expect and you, you guys just saw how fast the AT-15 was shooting and how effective it is in a city setting so let's go take a look at the after game stats so here we are we picked up 3180 damage we picked up four kills we also picked up a top gun and a high caliber and another crucial contribution because it seems we carried brony man once again so pretty much that was a nice game, but now let's go take a look at more AT-15 games. So here we are, we are at mines, and maybe I opt to go to the, right onto the center. Uh, now normally I don't really take that sniping position at the, our cap, or rather at our spawn, because quite frankly I don't really like to snipe this thing I have to go forwards just to dish out more damage and now my team is just gonna rush there and pretty much we're in a very sticky situation right there uh, there's no place for me to try to go so I just gotta try to maybe hope for the best that someone will push probably right up around on that ramp over there maybe can we see if we push onto this I-6 yes we can look at that penetration and check out the reload time just 3.4 and now we can see that that our T43 friend needs some help he's getting raped by two Germans come on let's go give Germany some British colonialism let's finish off this maybe let's go try to go after this tiger too sorry Erika Itsumi you have to go come on Put another shot to him check out the reload time 3.4 quite fast for a gun and now we've got to rush onto him because that's the only way to utilize the AT-15 strengths. And we finish him off. And now let's go for this VK. Look at that. We high rolled at 238, 222, 175. Let's just push onto this VK and finish him off. Pretty much that's the best thing to do in this AT-15. So now. Put him to that VK side somehow, even though he was slow like that, and we finish him off. Rather amazing. Now this is for the T49. Yes, we can. We put a shot to him. That was a rather nice. The T49 runs away, and we see Brony Man rendezvousing with us. Now and then we see that Panther. Maybe we can hunt. We can hunt that, that ICU, and that Panther is AFK. So maybe we can just farm him. Check out the reload time on this. Look at just how fast it is firing compared to Brony Man's 5 second or 4.5 second on his 20 pounder. Now, I let Brony Man take the kill for this even though I was already fully reloaded. Simply, maybe just simply let's give it let's give it a share. So now we see this ISU. Look at that. Look how fast I reload compared to Brony Man's Karen Arvin. Now the Karen Arvin only has 4.5 seconds of reload. But it's not that bad. It's actually amazing. And this cheeky T34-3 just puts a shot on our side. But either way, I'm too slow to actually get onto him. And pretty much this is, it's that's it for me. Because pretty much this is just a mop-up. I couldn't really 
put, try to put another shot. Maybe I could try to put my luck onto this IS-6 right here. And we finish him off. So that was quite an absolutely amazing round. It showcased just how fast the AT-15 fires, and in certain situations, is quite effective for being a sniper in long range. So let's go take a look at the after game stats. So here it is, we picked up 4077 damage, we destroyed 3 tanks, we also picked up a high caliber again, and as well as an invader metal. So that was it for the AT-15. So pretty much, if you guys enjoy playing slow tank destroyers like the T-28, but you want something you want a gun that shoots rather fast, then the AT-15 is there for you. And pretty much, it's very, very nice. I absolutely like how the AT-15 looks. And pretty much, it's got a, a lower tumor compared to the tortoise, as you can see right here. So pretty much, if you guys are into British tank destroyers and you want to get to the Death Star, then I fully recommend that you don't miss out on the AT-15, especially if it has that amazing rate of fire and a reload time of 3.4 seconds. But you have to be patient about the alpha though. So hopefully, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please consider giving it a like down below, subscribe, and let me know in the comments down below what you think of the AT-15, and as well as the rest of the British tank destroyers in the comments down below. And thank you so much guys for watching, you've all been awesome, and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video and in the battlefield.